Welcome everyone to a new video from PC Factory. Is the GTX 1060 3GB still worth it in 2025? Today I'll show you its specifications, the best processors to pair with, and will compare with similar graphics cards in both gaming and productivity. A good balance of power consumption and performance at 1080p. The GTX 1060 3GB has a Pascal GP106 architecture, 1152 CUDA cores, 3GB of GDDR5, a 192-bit bus and a 1.5 GHz clock speed. Its power draw is only 120 watts, so a 400 watt power supply is more than good enough for it. This car can fit into almost any build because of its low consumption and the fact that it has smaller versions. Compared with the modern RTX 3050, you can get about 75% of its performance. Not bad at all, considering its price and that it was released in 2016. Similar graphics card would be the RX 580, the RX 5500 XT, and the RX 590. However, in games like GTA, the 1060 easily beats all of them. To avoid bottleneck with a 1060, the ideal CPU would be a Ryzen 5 5500, a 5600, or maybe an Intel i5-10400. You can also choose an 11400 or a 12400, and also older chips like Ryzen 5 1600 also run fine. But I recommend something newer in case you want to upgrade the GPU later. You can also use it for live rendering tasks. Though its score is only 9800 points, video editing or design is possible too. Light to medium workloads, but with heavy loads, the car will really struggle. Still, it's one of the best options you could get for the price. Yes, the GTX 1060 3GB is still cheap, and it's a way to play at 1080p with medium graphics. And it works for light productivity, but if you find a deal on an RX 5700 or a W5700, you'll feel a huge performance jump. Now, let's get to the game. Let's get what we came for. The numbers we all love. Real FPS at 1080p. With the insect to epic graphics and FSR on balance mode, the GTS 1060 pulls around 40 FPS. It's not mind-blowing, but the game is definitely playable and feels smooth enough to enjoy. Now, if you're willing to tweak the settings a little bit, just drop them down to medium. The car climbs up to around 60 FPS. Here's where things get painful. Ultra settings without ray tracing, the GTX 1060 only manages 26 FPS. Oh man, the car really cries here. This is one of those games that clearly shows the limitations of just having 3 GB of VRAM. When you push those textures and heavy effects, the car simply runs out of memory. But don't give up. If you lower the graphics all the way down to low, you can actually hit close to 60 FPS, play the game much more stably. On Ghost Runner, on maximum settings without ray tracing, the GTX 1060 delivers around 52 FPS. That's fast, responsive, and honestly feels great for the title like this. Where movement is everything, wall running, dodging, slicing, like a cyber ninja. If you want a rock solid 60 FPS, your lower settings slightly too high. GTA 5, the classic still extremely popular. On minimum settings, the GTX 1060 flies around 120 FPS. When you push the game to very high, the poor car just runs out of breath, literally crashes into VRAM limit. This game really needs more than 3 GB of VRAM to handle heavy textures and mods. Still, if you're planning to play competitive or just want a smooth performance, keeping the settings on low is enough to have a good time. On ultra settings with 4 times super anti aliasing the GTX 1060 barely reaches 20 FPS. That's unplayable. But there's the magic. If you turn off su super anti aliasing performance skyrockets to around 75 FPS on average. That's a massive jump. From a slideshow to buttery smooth gameplay. It really shows how one single setting can make or break the experience for this GPU. So what all this means? At 1080p with competitive or optimized settings, GTX 1060 3 GB still puts up the fight in 2025. It struggles to reach 60 FPS in some of the heavier games, but with the right settings, low or medium, it's still very playable. If you're on a budget, still decent card to keep gaming at 1080p. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one.